Chapter 23 Pramaya Shri Nam Tattva Bilva Pushkarini is a charming village where Bhagavati Bhagirati flows in both the northern and western directions. In one corner of the village there is a beautiful lake surrounded by bale trees. On the shore of the lake is the Bilva Paksha Mahadev Temple, and Bhavatarana is splendidly situated a little distant from this temple. The village of Simulia is between Vilva Pushkarini and Brahmana Pushkarini, and all three villages are within the town of Navadweep. A wide road leads through the center of Bilva Pushkarini, and Brajanath's house is on this road towards the north. Vijay Kumar had bidden his sister farewell and walked for some distance, but on the way he began to think that it would be fitting to learn Sri Nam Tattva from Babaji before he went home. Thinking like this, he returned to Bilva Pushkarini and said to his sister, I will stay here for one or two more days and then I will return home. Rajanath became very happy to see his maternal uncle Vijay Kumar return. They sat together in the Chandi Mandap and began discussing the instructions of Dasamula. By now, Suryadev was preparing to set on the western horizon, and the birds were quickly flying towards their nests. Just at that time, two Vaishnava sadhus from the Ramanuja Sampradaya arrived. They put their asan beneath a jackfruit tree in front of Brajana's house, collected some sticks from here and there, and lit a fire. Their foreheads were beautifully adorned with the tilak of the Sri Sampradaya, and a sublime peace emanated from their faces. Brajanath's mother was very hospitable towards guests. Knowing that they must be hungry, she collected various kinds of edible ingredients and placed them before the sadhus, requesting them to cook and eat. They were satisfied and began to prepare their rotis. When Brajanath and Vijay Kumar saw these Vaishnavas' peaceful faces, they came and sat with them. Both Vaishnavas were very pleased to see Tulsi Malas on the necks of Brajanath and Vijay Kumar and the twelve marks of Tilak on their bodies. Spreading their blanket out more, they very respectfully had them sit down. In order to become acquainted with them, Brajanath asked, Maharaj, where are you coming from? One of the Babaji's answered, We have come from Ayodhya. For many days we have wanted to take darshan of Sri Navadweep Dham, the pastime place of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. We are so fortunate that by Bhagavan's mercy we have arrived in Sri Navadweep Dham today. We would like to stay here for a few days and take darshan of the pastime places of Sriman Mahaprabhu. You have certainly arrived in Sri Navadweep, said Brajanath. You should rest here today and take darshan of Sriman Mahaprabhu's birthplace and of Srivasanga. When the two Vaishnavas heard Brajanath's words, they became very blissful and recited a shloka from the Gita, 15.6. Yad gatva na nivartante, tad dharma paramam mama. When one goes to my abode, he does not have to return to this world. Today our lives have become blessed. We have become blessed by taking darshan of Sri Maya Tirtha, which is the chief holy place of the seven Puris. Thereafter, both Vaishnavas reflected on Arta Panchaka and presented Sri Ramanuja's views on these five subjects, Swasarup, Paraswarup, Upayaswarup, Purusartha Swarup, and Virodhi Swarup. Upon hearing these topics, Vijay Kumar in turn explained Tattva Trai. That is to say, he spoke on Ishvara, Jiva, Prakriti, and their interrelationship. After some time, he said, What is the Siddhanta in your Sampradaya regarding Sri Nam Tattva? However, Brajanath and Vijay Kumar were not very impressed or appreciative of the reply that the two Vaishnavas gave. Thereafter, Brajanath said to Vijay Kumar, Mamaji, after much deliberation, I have concluded that the Jiva can only find his welfare by accepting Krishna Nam. There is no other way. The Lord of our life, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, 
has descended to this Maya Tirtha to teach Shuddha Krishna Nam in the world. When Sri Gurudev last instructed us, he said that Sri Nam is the foremost of all the Angas of Bhakti and that we must make a separate attempt to understand Nam Tattva. So let us go this very day and try to understand Sri Nam Tattva conclusively. Then, after taking care of the needs of the guests, they departed. The Sandhya had arrived, and darkness was spreading. In Sri Vasanga, Sri Bhagavan's Sandhya Arti had begun, and the Vaishnavas were sitting on the platform of the Bakula tree. The elderly Raghunath Das Babaji was also sitting there in their midst, chanting Nam on his Tulsi Mala, and keeping count Sankhya Purvaka. Brajanathan Vijay Kumar offered Satsang Pranam at his feet, and Babaji Mahasai embraced them, saying, Is the bliss of your bhajan increasing? Vijay Kumar folded his hands and said, Prabhu, by your mercy, we are well in all respects. Now kindly bestow your mercy upon us this evening, and instruct us on Nam Tattva. Being very pleased, Babaji Maharaj replied, Sri Bhagavan has two kinds of names, his primary names, Mukhyanam, and his secondary names, Gonanam. Names such as Shirsti Karta, Creator, Jagatpata, Protector of the Universe, Vishvaniyanta, Controller of the Universe, Vishvapalaka, Maintainer of the Universe, and Paramatma, Supersoul, are related to the creation within the shelter of the material modes. These are called gona, secondary, because they are related to the gunas, modes of material nature. There are many such gona names, including names such as Brahma. Although their fruit is extremely great, they do not easily yield a transcendental result, chit fal. The names that are always present both in the spiritual and material worlds are spiritual and primary. For example, names such as Narayan, Vasudev, Janardhan, Rishikesh, Hari, Achuta, Govinda, Gopal and Ram are all primary. These names are present in Bhagavan's abode, Bhagavad Dham, and are one with his form, Bhagavad Swarup. In the material world, these names only dance on the tongues of very fortunate people to whose bhakti they are attracted. Sri Bhagavan Nam has no connection at all with the material world, and all the shaktis of Bhagavan's form, Bhagavat Swarup, are present in Sri Nam. Therefore, the names also possess all these shaktis. They have descended into the material world and are engaged in destroying Maya. The jivas have no friend in this material world, except for Hari Nam. In the Brihan Naradiya Purana, Hari Nam is said to be the only way. Hare Namaiva 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 Mama Jivanam Kalo Nastyeva 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 Gatiya Anyata Brihan Naradiya Purana 38.126 Meditation is the predominant process for perfection in Satya Yuga, Yajna, sacrifice in Treta Yuga, and Archan, deity worship, in Dwarpa Yuga. But in Kali Yuga, Hari Nam is my only life. Hari Nam is my only life. Hari Nam is my only life. In Kali Yuga, other than Sri Hari Nam, there is no other way. There is no other way. There is no other way. Harinam has unlimited great and wonderful Shakti, which can destroy all kinds of sins within a moment. Aveshyanapi yannam ni kirtite sarvapata kahai puman vimuchyate sadhya singha traste mriger iva Garuda Purana 2.32.12 A person who performs the kirtan of Sri Narayan with absorption becomes at once freed from all sins. They fly away from him, just like frightened deer who hear the roar of a lion. When one takes shelter of Sri Harinam, all his miseries and all kinds of diseases disappear. 
Adeyo vyadeyo yasya, smaranan namakirtanat, tadaiva vilayang yanti, tam anantam namam nyaham. Skanda Purana I offer obeisances to the Supreme Lord, who is known as Anantadev. Remembering him and chanting his name immediately dispels all kinds of diseases and miseries completely. One who performs Harinam purifies his family, his society, and the whole world. Maha Pataka Yukto Pi Kirtayan Anisham Harim Suranta Karano Budva Jayate Pankti Pavanaha Brahmanda Purana Even if one is very sinful, if he constantly performs Harinam, his heart becomes pure, he attains twice born status, and he purifies the whole world. One who is dedicated to Sri Harinam is relieved of all unhappiness, all disturbances, and all kinds of disease. Saravarogo Pashamam Saravopadrava Nashanam Shanti Dam Saravarishtanam Arernamanu Kirtanam Brihat Vishnu Purana When one performs Sri Harinam Kirtan, all kinds of diseases go away. All kinds of disturbances are appeased, all kinds of obstacles are destroyed, and one attains supreme peace. The degrading qualities of Kali cannot affect one who chants Sri Hari Nam. Hare Keshava Govinda, Vasudeva Jaganmaya, Iti Rayanti Ye Nityam, Nahi Tan Badhate Kali. Brihan Naradiya Purana Kali cannot cause any impediment, even for a moment, to those who perform constant kirtan, chanting O Hare, O Govinda, O Keshava, O Vasudev, O Jaganmaya. One who hears Sri Harinam becomes liberated from hell. Yata Yata Harer Nama, Kirtayanti Smanaraka, Tata Tata Harau Bhaktim, Udvahanto divam yayu. Nishringa Tapani. If even the residents of hell chant Hari Nam, they achieve Hari Bhakti and enter within the divine abode. Chanting Hari Nam destroys prarabdha karma, the results of past pious and impious activity, which is now bearing fruit. Yan Nama de Yam Riyamana Atura. Patan skalan va vivasho granan puman, vimukta karma galo utamam gatim, prapnoti yakshanti na tam kalo jana. Srimad Bhagavatam 12.3.44 If a human being helplessly chants just one name of Sri Bhagavan at the time of death, in an afflicted situation, or when falling down or slipping, all the bondage of his karma is destroyed, and he will obtain the highest goal. But alas, due to the influence of Kali Yuga, people do not worship him. Harinam Kirtan is more glorious and beneficial than studying the Vedas. Maricho Mayajustata, Ma Sama Patakinchana, Govindeti Hare Nama, Geyam Gayasva Nityasaha. Skanda Purana. There is no need to study and teach the Rig, Sama, and Yaju Vedas and so on. Simply perform constant Sankirtan of Sri Hari's name, Govinda. Performing Hari Nam is better than visiting all Tirthas, holy places. Tirtha Koti Sahasrani, Tirtha Koti Shatani Cha, Tani Savani Avapnoti. Vishnur Namani Kirtanat Skanda Purana Kirtan of Sri Vishnu's names gives all the results obtained by going to millions of Tirthas. Even a dim glimmer of Hari Nam, Hari Namabas, gives unlimitedly more results than all kinds of Sat Karma, pious fruit of activities. Gokoti Danam Grahane Kagasya Prayaga Gangodaka Kalpa Vasa Yagya Yutam Meru Suvarna Danam 
Govinda Kirte na samam shatam shai. One may give cows in charity on the day of a solar eclipse. One may reside in Prayag on the banks of the Ganga for a kalpa, or one may perform thousands of yagyas and give in charity a mountain of gold as high as Mount Sumeru. Still, all these cannot even be compared with a one-hundredth particle of Sri Govinda Kirtan. Arinam can yield all kinds of benefits, Arta. Etat sad varga haranam, ripu negra hanam param, adyatma mulam etad di, vishnur nam anukirtanam, skanda purana. Sankirtan of Sri Vishnu's names conquers the six senses and the six enemies, beginning with Kam and Kroda, and is the root of knowledge of the Supreme Self. Harinam is invested with all Shakti. Dana Vrata Tapastirta Chaitra Dinam Chayastita Shakteyo Deva Mahatang Sarva Papa Hara Shuba Rajasu Yashva Medanan Gyana Sadhyatma Vastunaha Akrisya Harina Sarva Stapita Sveshunama Su Skanda Purana There are so many auspicious qualities within charity, dan, vows, brata, austerity, tapa, the holy places, tirthaketras, the devatas, within all kinds of sin-removing righteous activities, in the aggregate of all powers, shaktis, in the rajasuya and ashvamedha sacrifices, and in the goal of knowledge of the identity of the self, gyan sadhya of atmavastu. However, Sri Hari has assembled all of these potencies and invested them within his own names. Sri Hari Nam gives bliss to the whole world. Stane Rishikesha Tava Prakirtya Jagat Prahesya Tyanurajate Cha Bhagavad Gita 11.36 O Rishikesh, the world becomes delighted on hearing the kirtan of your name and fame and thus everyone becomes attached to you. One who chants Sri Harinam is worshipable in the world. Narayana Jagannatha Vasudeva Janardana Iti Rayanti Ye Nityam Te Vaisarva Travanditaha Rihan Naradiya Purana Those who always perform kirtan Chanting O Narayan, O Jagannath, O Vasudev, O Janardhan are worshipped everywhere in the world. Sri Harinam is the only method for those who have no way. Ananya Gatayo Martya Boginopi Parantapaha Gyanavairagya Rahita Brahmacharyadi Varjitaha Sarava Dharamo Jitaha Vishnur Nama Matraika Jalpakaha Suke na yam gatim gyanti Na tam sarave pidaramikaha Padma Purana Those who simply perform kirtan of Sri Vishnu's name may do so because they have no other means of support and they may be absorbed in sense enjoyment. They may be troublesome to others, bereft of celibacy and other virtues and outside all dharma. Still, the destination that they achieve cannot be attained by all the combined efforts of religious people. Harinam can be performed at all times and under all circumstances. Na desha niyamastasmin, na kala niyamastata, no chistado nishedo sti, shri harer namni lubdika. Vishnu Dharamotara O you who are greedy for Sri Harinam, there is no rule of time and place for kirtan of Sri Harinam. One may perform Harinam kirtan in any condition, whether one is purified or contaminated, for example, if one's mouth is not clean after eating. Harinam certainly gives mukti very easily to one who desires it. Narayan Achutananta 
Vasudeveti Yonaraha. Satatam kirtayad buvi, yati mal layatang sahi. Varaha Purana The person who wanders about the earth, always chanting the names Narayan, Ananta, Achuta and Vasudev, will go with me to my planet. Kim karisyati sankhyena, kim yogyer naranayaka, muktim itchasi rajendra, kuru govinda kirtanam. Garuda Purana O best of men, what benefit can one derive from studying Sankhya philosophy or practicing Astanga Yoga? O king, if you desire liberation, just perform Sri Govinda's Kirtan. Harinam enables the Jivas to attain Vaikuntha. Saravatra Saravakale Shu Yepi Kurvanti Patakam Nama Sankirtanam Kritva Yanti Vishno Param Param Nandi Purana Even one who has performed sinful activities always and everywhere attains the supreme abode of Vishnu if he performs Nam Sankirtan. Chanting Hari Nam is the topmost means of pleasing Sri Bhagavan. Nama Sankirtanam Vishnu Kshutrit Prapi Dita Dishu Karoti Satatam Vipras Tasya Prito Hyadoksaja Brihan Naradiya Purana O Brahmanas, at Hoksaja Vishnu remains very satisfied with those who incessantly perform Sankirtan of Vishnu's name, even when troubled by hunger and thirst. Harinam has the Shakti to control Sri Bhagavan. Rinam e tat pravridam me Kridayan nasarpati Yad govindeti chukro sha Krishna mam duravasinam Mahabharat When I was far away from Draupadi, she called out to me, Ha Govinda. I am very much indebted to her for her distressed call, and I have not been able to remove that debt from my heart even today. Harinam is the Purusarta, supreme goal of life for the Jivas. Idam eva himangalyam, etat eva danarjanam, jivitasya falanchaitad, yaddamodara kirtanam. Skanda and Padma Puranas. Kirtan of Damodar is certainly the cause of all auspiciousness and the source of real wealth. The only benefit of having life is to perform such kirtan. Harinam Kirtan is the best of all different kinds of bhakti sadhan. Agachit smaranam vishnur bhava yasena sadyate oshta spandana matrena Kirtanam tu tatovaram. Vaishnava Chintamani. Sri Vishnu Smaranam destroys all sins but is attained only after much endeavor. Vishnu Kirtan, however, is superior because the same benefit is attained simply by vibrating Sri Nam upon one's lips. Yad abhyarcha harim bhaktya krite kratu shater api. Falam prapnotya vikalam, kalau govinda kirtanam. The same entire benefit obtained by performing hundreds of yagyas in such a yuga can be achieved in Kali Yuga by performing kirtan of Sri Govinda's names. Krite yadya yato vishnum, tretayam yajato makai, dva pare paricharya yam. Kalo Tadari Kirtanat Srimad Bhagavatam 12.3.52 Simply performing Kirtan of Sri Hari's Nam in Kali Yuga gives the same results as those that are achieved by meditating on Bhagavan in Satya Yuga, by worshipping him with great yagyas in Treta Yuga, and by performing formal deity worship in Dwarpa Yuga. Vijay Prabhu, I have full faith that Hari Nam is completely spiritual. But still, in order to be free from doubts with regard to Nam Tattva, it is necessary to understand how Sri Hari Nam can be spiritual when it is composed of syllables which are apparently material. Will you please clarify this point? Babaji 
The Swarup, nature and form of Sri Nam, has been explained in the Padma Purana. Nama Chintamani Krishnas Chaitanya Rasa Vigraha Puna Shudo Nitya Mukto Binatvan Nama Namino Shri Krishna Nam is Chintamani Swarup. This means that it awards the supreme goal of life and all transcendental good fortune. This is because Sri Hari Nam is non different from him who possesses Sri Nam. For the same reason, Sri Divya Nam is the very form of Mellows, Chaitanya Rasa Swarup, and is complete, pure, and eternally liberated from contact with Maya. Sri Nam and Sri Nami, he who possesses Sri Nam, are non different in Tattva. Therefore, Sri Krishna Nam has all the spiritual qualities present in Krishna himself, the possessor of Sri Nam. Sri Nam is always the complete truth and has no contact with dull matter. He is eternally liberated because he is never bound by the material modes. Sri Krishna Nam is Krishna himself and that is why he is the personified form of the aggregate wealth of transcendental mellows. Sri Hari Nam is a wish-fulfilling gem, Chintamani, and thus can award all that one desires from him. Vijay, how can the syllables of Sri Hari Nam be beyond the realm of illusory material words? Babaji, Hari Nam has not taken birth in the material world. The conscious, spark-like jiva is qualified to utter Hari Nam when he is situated in his pure spiritual form. However, he cannot perform pure Hari Nam with his material senses, which are bound by Maya. When the jiva obtains the mercy of the Hladini Shakti, then the activity of realizing his Swarup begins, and Shuddha Nam arises at that time. When Shuddha Nam appears, he mercifully descends on the mental faculty and dances on the tongue, which has been purified through the practice of bhakti. Sri Hari Nam is not a form of letters, but when he dances on the material tongue, he is manifest in the form of letters. That is the secret of Krishna Nam. Vijay Which name is the sweetest of all the primary holy names? Babaji The Shatta Nam Stotra says, Vishnur Ekaikam Nama Pi Sarva Veda Dikam Matam Tadrik Nama Sahasrena Rama Nama Samam Smritam Chanting one name of Vishnu gives more benefit than studying all the Vedas, and one name of Ram is equal to a thousand names, Sahasranam of Vishnu. Again, it is stated in the Brahmanda Purana, Sahasranam nam punyanam trir avritya tu yatvalam ekavritya tu krishnasya namai kam tat prayachchati. If one utters Sri Krishna nam once, he obtains the same result that comes from chanting the pure Vishnu Sahasra nam three times. The purport is that a thousand names of Vishnu equals one name of Ram and three thousand names of Vishnu, that is to say, three names of Ram, equals one name of Krishna. Chanting Krishna's name once gives the same result as chanting Ram's name three times. Shri Krishna Nam is certainly the supreme name. Therefore, we should follow the instruction of the Lord of our life, Shri Gauranga Sundara, and always take Shri Nam as he has given it. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Vijay What is the process of Harinam Sadhan? Babaji, one should constantly perform Harinam by counting the names properly on a Tulsi Mala, or in the absence of that, counting on the fingers. One should always stay far away from offenses, the fruit of Sri Hari Nam, Krishna Prem, is attained by chanting Sudha Nam. The purpose of keeping count is for the sadhak to understand 
whether his practice of Sri Hari Nam is increasing or diminishing. Tulsi Devi is very dear to Hari, so touching her while taking Hari Nam means that Hari Nam bestows more benefit. When one is practicing Nam, one should understand that Sri Krishna Nam is non different from his Swarup, eternal intrinsic form. Vijay Prabhu, there are nine or sixty four different Angas of Sadhan, but chanting Sri Hari Nam is only one form. If one is always practicing Nam, how can one have time for the other forms of Sadhan? Babaji That is not difficult. The sixty-four different Angas of Bhakti are all contained within the ninefold process of Bhakti. The nine Angas of Bhakti, whether in the worship of the deity or in Nirjan Sadhan, solitary Sadhan performed in the association of Sadhus, can be performed anywhere. Simply by the pure hearing, chanting and remembering of Sri Krishna Nam in front of the deity, one has accomplished Nam Sadhan. Where there is no deity, simply remember the deity and perform sadhan to that deity with the limbs of Navada Bhakti in the form of hearing and chanting Sri Nam, etc. One who is fortunate enough to have special taste for Nam always performs Nam Kirtan. Thus he automatically follows all the Angas of Bhakti. Sri Nam Kirtan is the most powerful of all the nine processes of sadhan. Shravanam, Kirtanam, etc. During Kirtan, all the other Angas are present, although they may not be evident. Vijay How is it possible to perform continuous Nam Sankirtan? Babaji Continuous Nam Kirtan means performing Kirtan of Sri Hari Nam at all times, while sitting, getting up, eating or working except when sleeping. In Nam Sadhan, there is no prohibition regarding time, place, situation or cleanliness. That is, one may be in a pure or impure condition. Vijay Oh, the mercy of Nam Bhagavan is unlimited, but we have no hope of becoming Vaishnavas until you give us your mercy and bestow upon us the power to perform Nam constantly. Babaji I have already explained that there are three kinds of Vaishnava, Kanishta, Madhyam and Uttam. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told Satyaraj Khan that anyone who takes Krishna Nam is a Vaishnava. One who constantly takes Krishna Nam is a Madhyam Vaishnava and the Uttam Vaishnava is he whose very sight makes Krishna Nam appear spontaneously in one's mouth. Since you sometimes take Krishna Nam with faith, you have already obtained the position of a Vaishnava. Vijay Please tell us whatever else we should know about Shuddha Krishna Nam. Babaji Shuddha Krishna Nam is Krishna Nam that has arisen through undivided bhakti, resulting from full faith. Other than that, the chanting of Sri Nam will be experienced as either Namabhas or Nam Aparad. Vijay Prabhu, should we understand that Hari Nam is Sadhya, the aim and purpose, or Sadhan, the means? Babaji When one takes Hari Nam in the course of Sadhan Bhakti, that Nam can be called Sadhan. However, when the Bhakta takes Hari Nam in the course of Bhav Bhakti or Prema Bhakti, that manifestation of Sri Hari Nam is Sadhya Vastu, or the aim and object of practice. The sadhak's realization of the contraction or expansion of Sri Hari Nam will depend on his level of bhakti. Vijay Is there a difference in the experience of Krishna Nam and Krishna Swarup? Babaji No, there is no difference in the experience but one should understand the confidential secret that Krishna Nam is more merciful than Krishna Swarup. Krishna Swarup form does not forgive whatever offense is made to him, but Krishna Nam forgives both offenses committed to the Swarup and offenses committed towards himself. When you take Nam, you should understand the Nam Aparads very clearly 
and try to avoid them, because you cannot chant Shuddha Nam until you stop committing offenses. The next time you come, we will discuss Nama Parad. When Brajanath and Vijay Kumar had learned about the glories of Nam and Nam Swarup Tattva, they took Sri Gurudev's foot dust and slowly returned to Bilva Pushkarini. Thus ends the twenty-third chapter of Jaiva Dharma, entitled Prameya, Sri Nam Tattva.